Hi, this is Dan from Supernatural Marriage Ministries. I just love the Bible. There's such fantastic stories in the Bible, and one of my very favorite is the one about Samuel and Eli. Samuel's just this little guy, and he hears God calling him, and he says, here I am, but he thinks it's Eli that was calling him. He goes to Eli and wakes him up, and Eli says, don't bother me, Sam, go back to sleep. So the same thing happens over and over. And finally, after the third time, Eli says, you know, you need to answer that because that's God talking to you, Sam. So one last time, the fourth time, Samuel hears the sound. And he says, here I am, Lord. And God speaks to him and tells him such amazing things. The same thing can happen, though, in you and in me. And what's even more astounding is it can happen in your marriage. One of our very favorite things that Linda and I enjoy is when God speaks to us at the same time as one flesh. We love it when he speaks to us individually, but there's something special when we're together and God speaks to us. This happened just last week. We were trying to make this big decision, and when we try and make big decisions, we ask God. We say, God, help us make this decision, and we trust him, and we know that he will help us. And this time we say, God, speak to us right now in some way. Tell us whether we should say yes or no to this opportunity. And of course, we didn't know if he'd answer right now, but he did. And it was so beautiful. We were sitting there on the couch, and we both started feeling the presence of the glory of the Lord in our very flesh. We got what we call crunchies. We kind of felt something within us. It was the spirit moving. And it was so cool because I felt it and then Linda felt it. And that is exactly what we had asked God to do for us was to speak to us, not verbally, but to touch us in a way that we knew it was him. And we did. And since we're one flesh, in the spirit, we both understood that it was God. We both understood that he was saying yes, and we both agreed immediately to do what he asked us to do. It was really fun. You know, holiness is meant to be fun. It's not a burden to follow the ways of God. It's not a burden to say yes to God. So I encourage you to ask God. I encourage you to listen to God in whatever way he speaks to you. It'll be different for you than it was for us. But I also encourage you, after you say yes, to say thank you, Lord. 